Election 2024, it is ramping up. Right now, people in 15 states across the country and one territory are voting. Polls are open from Alabama to Alaska on this Super Tuesday. And millions of Americans are casting votes in the Republican and the Democratic presidential primaries. Yeah, tonight, most of the delegates awarded over the entire primary season will be determined. Unlike previous primaries, tonight's results are almost a foregone conclusion. President Joe Biden and former President Trump are the front runners in the Democratic and Republican races. But GOP challenger Nikki Haley is hoping to pick up support in primaries not limited to registered Republicans. That's that's because six Super Tuesday states allow voters to cast a ballot across party lines. I'm unaffiliated, but, you know, I'm voting in the Republican primary there. Just, just again, some normalcy. At some point, maybe we should say the reason that America keeps losing is because of Donald Trump. Haley has vowed to stay in the race as long as she is, quote, competitive, but hasn't explained exactly what that means. And tonight, we are exactly two weeks away from Ohio's primary. So a top race on the ballot, the fight for Ohio's U.S. Senate seat. 10 TV political reporter Doug Petcash joins us in studio right now to break down who is running. Doug? Andrew and Angela, it's a race people across the country are keeping an eye on, an important one. Three Republicans are hoping to unseat three-term Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown. Brown is running unopposed in the Democratic primary, trying to keep the seat he has held since 2007. His GOP challengers are Secretary of State Frank LaRose, State Senator Matt Dolan, and businessman Bernie Moreno. All three are hoping to be the Republican nominee for Senate come March 19th. I spoke to Secretary LaRose and State Senator Dolan about issues they are focusing on this election, including Second Amendment rights. Disarming law-abiding people is not the answer. This is where there's a real contrast between me and the other two people running. They both have spent a lot of money trying to convince people that they're conservatives. Ohioans aren't buying it because they see their past record. I have consistently stood to protect the Second Amendment. I have a 100% pro-gun voting record. Another big issue this election, reproductive rights. Back in November, of course, Ohioans voted to protect those rights by passing issue one. State Senator Dolan says he'll respect what Ohio voters want and says his challenger's stances on abortion restrictions are too extreme. I think those are out of step with what Ohioans showed that they wish for in, in issue one, and therefore they're going to have a hard time against Sherrod Brown. I think Sherrod Brown, if he makes the, the race about abortion with me, then he's going to have to defend why he's for on-demand uh, on abortion. Bernie Moreno is the only candidate endorsed by former President Donald Trump. 10TV has reached out to his campaign several times for an interview, and we are still waiting for a response. Reporting in studio tonight, I'm Doug Petcash.